Colleges determine if a student is getting grants or scholarships based on need is through what's called the FAFSA. It's also the way to apply for federal student aid, including federal grants, work study programs, and loans. And the free application for federal student aid underwent a bit of a facelift this year in the hopes to make the application easier to complete. KCRG TV9's Rebecca Vaughn joins us live in the studio with how this application process has changed. Yeah, the new form is actually being called the Better FAFSA. The process of filling it out is supposed to be easier and more streamlined, but the creation of this new form means it came out a lot later than it usually does. One student I spoke with said that created some confusion when he was visiting colleges to make that final decision. Miles Alexander plans to attend Iowa State for hospitality management. He said that with the FAFSA form coming out later than normal this year, it created confusion during summer college visits. Nobody really knew for sure when it was going to come out and if everything was going to be done in time. In a normal year, early applications for FAFSA could be submitted starting in October. That's eight months before the May 1st decision day. This year, FAFSA applications didn't drop until late December, cutting that time in half. They knew it was coming about December, but they didn't have an official hard deadline of when the FAFSA would be out. So there's some confusion on whether or not it'd be ready for um, time for college applications. Yeah. Miles' mom said that the form coming out later created a tight deadline with her son's school and created some anxiety about when financial student aid packages would be announced. I know the deadline to to turn it in for Iowa State was like the end of January, so, but the form wasn't ready until the end of December, so it was kind of hard to schedule an appointment um, to get that in there in that short of a time. She's talking about getting an appointment with the Iowa College Access Network, or ICANN, a nonprofit that helps people plan for college and complete the FAFSA application. So we won't really know how financial aid truly looks until award letter or financial aid packages start going out, which won't happen until much later this spring. But right now, we're looking at just completing the form. This has only been a soft launch to the new form, and there have been some delays because of it. It's really only available during business hours, and then they kind of shut down and do maintenance and updates and, and continue to work out some technical difficulties. But uh, the form itself, when it's up, is going pretty smoothly. And one major change impacts those who live on farms. Specifically for Iowans who are farmers, there's some concern about how farming is being looked at now because it used to be not included if it was a family farm and now that is being looked at. Financial aid packages being delivered shouldn't be delayed too much with the new form. The old FAFSA aid packages used to come out about now at the earliest. The new ones are expected to drop mid to late February, some maybe even to March. Live in the studio, Rebecca Vaughn, KCRG TV9 News.